Alright, Charge Blade Weapon Overview for Monster Hunter Wilds, let's get into it. Honestly, I'm not that good at Charge Blade. Oh! We get new armor here, that means new monster. Kinda looks like Rakna Kadaki. Yeah, okay, alright, alright. I love how the armor look and the axe boat, man. The Charge Blade looks regal AF. Okay, uh, I don't think the sword mode has anything new just now and also to charge the file it seems the same nothing changes you can move to the axe mode all right i don't think anything changes here on the basic bits of charge blade um again oh okay so the savage axe mode we get to see aed nice and a follow-up attack okay that's new the follow-up attack seems really handy uh, this showing the how to charge the file, how to charge the sword. Okay, I don't think any of that changes. It's just the UI change. It seems like maybe the flashing lights just now mean something. This is a focus attack. Ooh, all right, that's pretty gnarly. Okay, a parry to a savage axe mode directly, twirling sword attack, and uh oh, okay. S-A-E-D, Super Amber Elemental Discharge. That one was pretty quick just now to get into it. You just kind of do the swing back and directly goes into the S-A-E-D. That's pretty neat. Alright, anyway, let's go back from the start. Let's look at the new armor here. Oh my goodness, I really like the design. Uh, we get to see the female one a lot more, just now, a lot more clearer. Yeah, you got the dress, the red dress and the white. This is very gothic bridal type. That's why I thought of Rakna Kadaki at first, but then I realized wait this is different. So I'm guessing that we might be get that we are probably gonna get another spider esque monster. Because just now if you see in this picture here, the axe mode has the webbing design thing. So yeah I'm pretty damn sure it's going to be a spider monster. Man, I really like the church plate design of it. He even got the fuzzy, like the hand guard thing, that looks pretty neat. And the male armor as well. Man, I like it. With that hat and the, what, it, what do you call that, one shoulder cape thing. It looks neat. It looks neat. Very neat. And yeah, from the opening here, there's nothing special. It's all the same on how to use your sword to charge up the files and how to put those files in your shield, into your sword, and into your axe. It seems all the same. The difference starts when he's doing this move right here i think this part of the what, what you call that the savage axe mode right and you directly go to an aed and a follow-up attack here boom that uses another file that looks really neat especially on a knockout like that man um and here again nothing new was just showing the ui i think on how to charge your shield your sword and such here is the focus mode, which looks, again, pretty gnarly. I'm pretty sure this move is in the previous game. I've seen it before. I don't know which game it's from, though. So yeah, let's take a look at that again. Mm, that is neat. And next here, we get the parry. He you get the parry, and you can directly go into a savage axe mode, it seems like. So that's gonna be a lot handy. This move, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Because I know it's a new move, I think. And you just kind of twirl around. And I don't know if there's going to be any effect. But the yeah, the last thing here we get from the Savage Axe mode, I think. You just kind of do one attack and you can directly go to a SAED. Which is really quick, by the way. So that's going to be neat that you don't have to do the full combo again. I Yeah. Alright. So I think overall, Charge Blade looks pretty fun to play. I think uh, a lot of the addition has been for the Savage X mode, it seems like. But I'm hoping that there will be a balance between Savage X and the Elemental Discharge gameplay. Um, outside of that, I don't think I have any other thoughts on Charge Blade. So yeah, I guess I'll see you on the next one.